Hey everybody, Heidi here and Stu McLaren, and we are talking all things artists and crafting and starting a membership site. So welcome, Stu. Glad to see you. Oh, well, it's always a pleasure to be with you, Heidi. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Okay, so the reason I have you on and the reason I have you on a bunch of different pages is because People always ask me, hey, Heidi, how did you get Paint Party Headquarters to over 2,000 members? And I always go, my business coach, Sue McLaren. And so then they want to know more. So we have about 15 minutes here. So as you come on, if you're an artist or a crafter who has already started a membership site or wants to start a membership site, if you could please put in the comments if that is you. And then we're going to go straight to it because Stu is a busy man and we have 15 minutes. And so first, I just want to talk to you about like, why would an artist or a crafter want to start a membership site? What is the purpose of that? Well, you know, um, I don't think many times a membership site is at the forefront of an artist or crafter's mind, right? Because as an artist, you're so focused on the art of what it is that you are creating. That might be, you know, uh, painting, it might be crafts, it might be signs, it might be jewelry, it might be any of these amazing things. And so typically an artist or somebody who is, uh, you know, artistic and, and crafty, they're focused on the art and the craft. But here's the irony. When you have a business that supports the art and the craft, it actually creates more freedom for you to pursue the art and craft in the way in which you want. You know, Heidi, your story is a perfect example, right? Like you love art, but before you were, the way in which you were making money to be able to do the art was painting all these surfboards. Mm -hmm. And it was just like this, this crazy, you know, intense thing that actually started to draw away your passion for the art itself because it felt like a production line. Am I right? It was a factory. <laughs> it was a factory. We painted over a thousand surfboards in less than two months. And I was like the slowest painter in the world until that summer. So yeah. And now I found out they can just print my design on anything. I'm like, are you kidding me? That could have been so much easier. But you gotta learn the hard way. So yes, definitely. But that's that's the point is like, you know, oftentimes the, the artists and the crafters who want to make a living doing the art and the craft end up in a situation where it's like that production line or that factory line, so to speak, where you're just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And it takes away from the joy of the way in which you typically do it. This is why a membership is such a beautiful marriage for anybody who is in the art or in the craft space, because inevitably there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can go about it. But the most obvious way is teaching people how you're doing the thing that you're doing. And we see this in all kinds of different examples, you know, where again, uh, you have developed a, a following of some kind, it doesn't need to be tens of thousands or thousands, just a couple hundred people, you know, who have an interest in what it is that you're doing. Inevitably that interest is yes, not only people who want to buy from you, but also people who want to learn from you. And so just walking people through the process of what it is that you're doing, taking the things that you already know, love and do teaching it and helping others master it. What ends up happening is you build this beautiful business where you get to practice your craft and, and master your craft. And at the same time, generate reliable, predictable revenue from the business that gives you that freedom to be able to design it however you want. And there's lots of different examples of uh, whether it's uh, jewelry memberships, whether it's art memberships, whether it's sign making memberships, whether it's door hanging memberships, whether it's all these different types of, you know, art and craft type memberships where the people behind them have taken what they already know, love and do and are now teaching it and have created this incredible revenue source that gives them the freedom to be able to pursue their art in the way they want to pursue it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so last night I was on TikTok and I was creating my TikTok, but then I got sucked into an artist who was kind of doing almost like a confessional about how she was upset that somebody was copying her art. Mm -hmm. And I, in that moment, was like, oh my gosh, girl, if you just turned your perspective of like you could teach other people how you're doing your art and have this million plus dollar business versus 
you know, here you are like hand painting one offs, you know, and it just it just broke my heart because I think a lot of people, especially in the art world, there's this big feeling of like, you know, it's mine. I've created it. It's nobody else's. And I get that there's there is a place for fine artists who are creating their stuff. But if you're a furniture painter teaching a technique, like why not? you know, make a, a course and then make it into a membership where you can use that technique to move further. So I think a lot of times it's, um, especially for the art world and the crafter world, it's about um, this feeling of it's mine and it mm -hmm. has to be mine and I cannot share it. Where I feel like, you know, every, I mean, paint party headquarters, literally when I book a paint party, which I still try to do them like once or twice a quarter, I go to my membership to grab the assets that I need. So it's like I built something for myself and then I just share it with 2000 plus people, you know? Uh, so, you know, and here's uh, like another example of that, like I think of Emily. So Emily is a fine artist. She, that's how she made her business was, you know, uh, producing these beautiful paintings that she would sell uh, from her website. But the ironic thing is, is she has a membership with thousands of members where she's teaching them the, the same things of, in her case, not only the art, but how to grow the, the art business. And amazingly, it actually increases the demand for her art because people then in learning from her appreciate the quality of her art. There's a, a more invested interest in what she has gone through to produce that art. And so when she has a new series of paintings that she releases, they sell out like crazy because people have been invested in watching and learning from her as she is producing this artwork. So the irony is, is that as you grow a membership teaching what it is that you do, you generate way more interest from those people and will have far more demand for the actual art that you're producing because people are invested in it. And it reminds me like when my wife and I were in Hawaii mm -hmm. or I, I, there's so many examples of this. One was in Hawaii. I'll tell you another one when we were in um, Peru and they were selling all these beautiful like uh, wool uh, sweaters and stuff. And, you know, they were nice. And I was like, oh, you know, they're nice, but you know, they were pretty expensive and I didn't really like have a need for another sweater. So I, I wasn't in the market for one. But then my wife and I, we went on like a little tour of this, uh, you know, place where these women are, you know, shearing the sheep and cleaning the wool, dyeing the wool, spinning the wool, weaving the sweaters. And we had a whole nother level of appreciation of what goes into producing these sweaters. Well, after the fact, we spent way more than we normally would have on a sweater because of that invested interest. And this is my point is like, when you share what you do, people have a whole nother level of appreciation for the mm -hmm. time, the energy, the thought that goes into producing that, which only increases demand. Yeah, I agree. I think it's, I think it's awesome. And I think too, a lot of times people are just, and um, they're nervous because they don't think they have a big enough audience where you know, a lot of times I, you know, that's what I teach in Outer Limits, like how to build your email list, how to build your text list so you can start having this audience. And um, so this free workshop that you're going to have, I'm not, and then I'm going to answer, I'm going to ask some of the questions that, um, that some of the ladies have asked here. But in this free workshop, which is coming up, I mean, it's April 21st, it will be here. And um, what are they going to get in this free workshop? Well, you're right. We host this free workshop. It happens one time a year and it is perfect for anybody who has a fuzzy idea is hearing the thought of a membership is like that might work for my business or that might work for my market. Come and join us because we're going to show you exactly how it works. In fact, on the first uh, free uh, part one of the workshop, we're going to walk you through an assessment to help you identify whether a membership would be a good fit for you and your business. And then if you're thinking, well, what would I actually provide inside the membership? We're going to show you, we're going to walk you through, you know, what to provide inside the membership or how to market the membership. We'll talk about that and so much more. And the other thing that I want to point out is this is a live workshop. And the reason it is live is because from our experience, when we create this live environment, it creates so much more uh, momentum for people. And we actually have people who start the workshop, don't have a big audience, 
don't even have a clear idea of the membership, but by the end of the free workshop are launching and welcoming new members and generating revenue. And you might be asking, what? How is that even possible? We're going to show you exactly how. This is why you want to come join us because you'll get swept up in the positive momentum and you'll come out of this workshop clear. You'll have a direction and a plan and you'll know exactly how to begin gr launching, growing and scaling your membership. And there's a very good probability that many of you watching and listening will actually launch during the free workshop. And how incredible will that be? I love that because it's almost like you're borrowing courage from all of the excitement that happens through that workshop. Absolutely. And so, when, so when you can borrow the courage. So a friend of mine, her name is Mindy. Um, she, so she is amazing and she is a teacher and she has her doctorates and just really, really smart. She's really good at teaching kids how to read. And so she's been, you know, we've been friends for years. And so, um, she said, you know, she's been wanting to start a membership and, and then the other day, she last week, she finally did it. But what she did was she did not have an audience at all. She had a friend who had a YouTube following that was a very trusted YouTube following. And 110 people signed up her very first launch. And so we're texting back and forth and I'm messaging her. And, and at the beginning, she's like, I think I'm just going to refund all their money. I'm so terrified. And I'm like, that's a perfect normal response. We're all scared. <laughs> like it's normal. Like I almost throw up every launch or have a crying meltdown, which this launch, I didn't cry the whole time. I was like, wonderful. This is progress. But you know, it's so crazy because I thought like, here's somebody who they don't want to be front facing, right? Like how we are right now on camera. She doesn't want to do that. And so she got resourceful, figured out how she could partner up with a YouTube influencer who's already doing that. And they got 110 members from that. And I'm just like, this, this kind of stuff is what changes people's lives. And I, for the artists and creatives, I'm telling y'all, like, the learning what I have learned from Stu has changed my life forever. Like, and I'm so thankful. I mean, our whole family's future has been changed from what you have taught. So I cannot publicly thank you enough because it's, it's craziness. And I just want people like to just, even if you're curious, just sign up for the free workshop because all of a sudden you're going to start going, Oh my gosh, these are opportunities that I never knew existed. And now they do. Well, and you know, uh, I had a, um, a conversation with my wife the other day because one of the things that uh, Amy, my wife, is, uh, has always been challenged with is this lack of confidence around the things that she is really good at. And how this comes out is she'll say things like, you know, I just wish I was really good at something because then, you know, it becomes so much easier to understand how to you know, build a business around it. And she'll point to like her friend Ingrid, who is amazing at doing like pet portraits. And she only discovered this talent like, you know, later in life. And she's like, look at Ingrid, like it's, she's incredible, incredibly skilled. Like it, it's, it would be so easy to build a business around that. Mm -hmm. And then um, the ironic thing about this is that Amy is supremely talented at hosting and uh, creating experiences for people. And she's done it her entire life. Whether as a kid, as a 12 year old, she had like this babysitting camp where parents would send and she had like all these things and parents were just loving. It. And uh, you, you follow the trend and you see it in like the way in which she organizes birthday parties and yeah. celebrations. And now we just, in the last couple of years, we uh, invested in a, uh, a short term uh, rental, like an Airbnb, uh, which you can see on Instagram at, at Dover Lake House. But anyway, um, she is like booked solid. She gets five star reviews. She gets referrals and we charge premium prices, like three times the average nightly rate in our area. And it's booked all the time. And people are always asking like, how do you do this? And she's like, well, I just create an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, babes, like this is your skill set. And she's yes. like, I don't, I don't get it. And, and I'm like, babes, like if you look at other Airbnb hmm. hosts, they don't think the way in which you think. Like right. every time we like we were just coming traveling back as a family from a trip, our first trip in two years, and we're staying at an Airbnb, and we walk in and Amy's like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I would do this differently, I'd do that differently. I, I would have this, I'd have this, and I'm just like, "This is this is this is, this is how you do it." Like, 
how you think. Like you naturally do it. And she's like, yeah, but it's obvious. And I'm like, whoa, time out. Mm -hmm. It's obvious to you because it comes naturally. And yeah. that's what I see happening in so many people. We have these gifts, we have these skills, and we just dismiss them because it comes easy and natural to us. No, it doesn't come easy and natural to everybody else. And this is why it is an opportunity for you to step up and share and teach and help others. And so this is the same pep talk I was giving my wife. I'm saying, babes, this is an amazing opportunity to help other Airbnb hosts be able to get bookings on a consistent basis, get those five-star reviews and create these amazing experiences that have people coming back again and again and again because you teach how to craft this experience. This is exactly why so many watching and listening, you have these incredible talents and these incredible skills. They come naturally to you. So you may be dismissing them. You may not be thinking that it's something others want to learn, but they are, and they will. Like I think of Holly George, like Holly George was just really good at making balloon animals. And mm. you wouldn't think like, there's enough people around this world to build a business around. There are, she has thousands of members in her membership where she's teaching how to craft these different balloon animals. There's, there's so many incredible examples like this in photography, calligraphy and fitness and finance and music and art and health and dog training and so many more. Bottom line is that like you have skill sets, you have this knowledge, you have this expertise. Now it's about sharing it with the world in the form of a membership so you can build a business and create that stability and predictability in your life. And if anything during the last two years has taught me, uh, it is that we just never know what's going to happen. But Never know. Have that predictability in your business. You are in a far better place to navigate any challenges that come your way. You don't experience anywhere near the stress. That's why I'm passionate about this. And that's why I want everybody watching, listening, come join us on April 21st. Click the link that Heidi gave you. Come join us. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Y'all, y'all definitely need to do this because here's the thing. I know most of you watching me are artists and crafters, but you may like realize, wait, I like to paint, but I love to cook. Like I'm really good at cooking or I like to paint, but I'm also like really good at CrossFit or whatever, you know, kind of thing people do. So as you're going through this workshop, you're going to start to see like, maybe this is really my skill set. And, and I know Amy does this, but please, for the love of God, anybody who owns Airbnbs and VRBO, add extra toilet paper like don't put one roll it is the most frustrating thing in the world and i'm sure her experience with that price point she has the good toilet paper and i'm telling every time we go somewhere i'm like we got my freaking toilet paper like why would they leave one roll for a five night stay not cool people so i just wanted to PSA. I just had a PSA about that. Okay. <laughs> so yes, Teresa agrees. More TP. Yes. It is, <laughs> it is not that hard to just put in some extra toilet paper. Okay. So, um, so again, I know we were going to answer, ask questions and answer questions, but I know we're coming up on our time. Okay. So here's the thing. Yeah. Everybody agrees with the toilet paper. Yeah. And two ply people, it two ply, just raise your price a little bit and do two ply. I'll ask. Um, okay. So anybody who, um, maybe you want to see more of this, me and Sue are going to be live one more time on Tuesday at 11 AM. So if you want to see more, um, definitely. Yes. The toilet paper, everybody is agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> so all you have to do to sign up, this is not for free toilet paper. All you have to do to sign up for the workshop is um, just type workshop. And then um, we're going to give you a link to sign up. But I am telling y'all, and um, when I, okay, so Stu, when I first found you, it was crazy, a crazy story. I had met to have lunch with Patty Palmer and I had already been on her podcast. She had, I had interviewed her. This was years ago. And I was like, Hey, I'm going to be in the area, which was technically two hours away, but I was like, I'm willing to drive, you know, I'm going to be in the area. Um, and I was like, Hey, can we meet up? And I remember, you know, I was taking notes and, um, and had been, you know, following her. And then she said your name and I wrote it down, but I didn't really think too much about it. And like, you know, I was in Shanda Sumpner's stuff. I was learning email marketing. And, um, and then it was like another, I guess I wasn't ready for it. And it was like the time when you were, you were launching and all of a sudden I devoured your podcast, like literally like all of it. I started changing all of the different things I was doing marketing wise. 
and immediately started seeing results before I ever even started the workshop. So for those of you that you're like, okay, April 21st, that's still a week away, a week and a half away, go to his Marketing Your Business podcast and go to his podcast and start devouring it. And I, I don't know if you're like me, I was immediately going, okay, I can tweak this. I can tweak this. And then by the time I got to the workshop, I was so freaking excited about the possibility. And here we are, you know, about to hit our four year anniversary. And again, cha life changing. So it, it's pretty amazing. Um, Heidi, and I was saying this to you before we went live, but like, you know, I just hope you take stock and, and are proud of what you have done and the people that you have impacted with your membership. Like, this is for me, you know, a big part of the reward of what we get to do in memberships because yes, 100%, it's going to stabilize the business. Yes, it produces that recurring revenue. And that's amazing because money is a very good thing because it's not about the money. It's about what that money makes possible. And it opens up so many possibilities for us. But the extended ripple of that is all the people we get to serve and all the people we get to help. And I think of the thousands of people inside just your membership that you are now serving and helping. It's absolutely amazing. You know, and I think like so often we dismiss, as I was saying, the value that we have. It reminds me of Julie Soul. Like Julie during the pandemic, um, she was like most parents trying to figure out like, okay, what are we going to do with our kids at home? You know what I mean? Like uh, trying to navigate that challenge. And so she loves art. And so she started creating these amazing, like, you know, uh, homeschooling art lessons for her kids. Well, long story short, like she had a friend come over and saw these art lessons and was like, oh my gosh, like these are amazing. Like, can I use these for my kids? And Julie's like, sure. She wasn't even thinking about it. Like, you know, she wasn't, you know, thinking about a, uh, a membership. She wasn't thinking about a business or anything of that nature. In her words, she said, like she had never sold anything in her life other than candy bars for a school fundraiser. So like <laughs> it was the farthest thing from her mind. But anyway, word kind of spread and other parents were like, hey, you know, Julie, can you share this with me? Hey, can you share those with me? So she started a free Facebook group and she just started sharing these art lessons that she was using with her kids at home uh, in this free Facebook group. Well, over a few months, it grew to 2000 people. And January of last year, she decided well, maybe this, I could launch a membership. And so she launches a membership. She ended up welcoming over 300 members in that wow. membership. By August of last year, that had grown to a thousand. One full year later in January, 2022, that had grown to more than 1400 members where she's just, she's sharing the art lessons that she was doing at home with her kids anyway. And the crazy part is, is as I was chatting to her, she's like, Stu, I could never have even imagined what has transpired here yeah. and she's like but i'm so grateful for it and this is the message that i want to uh, put out for everybody is like don't ever underestimate what is possible you may not be able to see it you may not be super clear on it now but the only way you will get that clarity is by moving forward and taking action and that first step is to come join us on the free workshop we're going to help you get that clarity you're going to gain momentum in this process and I want to hold that space for you. And I know Heidi, you hold that space for your audience in terms of what's possible, because my friends, it is unbelievable what happens and can happen for you when you just get going and you get out of your own way, you stop overthinking, you stop overanalyzing and you just make it as simple as possible to take that next right step. And that next right step is come join us for the free workshop on April 21st. It's going to be amazing. So what time does it start on April 21st? So it's at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I highly recommend you put it on your calendar to join us live because there, I'm going to give your audience a hint. Uh, there may, wink, wink, be a super secret segment that is only for people who are there live. So it will not be available in the recordings. It will only be for people there live. And in fact, that super secret uh, segment on the first uh, day is ridiculously powerful, especially when it comes to attracting the right people for whatever it is that you are offering, whether it is your art, whether it is your membership or program and so forth. So if you've ever struggled with being able to clearly tell people what it is that you do in a way that compels them to say, yes, I want that, or yes, I know this person that would want that, mm -hmm. you absolutely wanna be there live. 
and join us live. But as I said, we're going to cover how to know whether your market is a good fit for membership, what to provide inside of membership, how to market the membership, how to grow. All of these things we'll cover during the free workshop. Come join us. It's going to be amazing. This is awesome. Okay, so set your alarms. Desiree's asking, what day are you doing this? When can I set my alarm? So this is going to be, you have to sign up. So just type the word workshop link for the free workshop. We'll get you the link. And then it's going to be on Thursday, April 21st, starting at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. And then on April 22nd, is it the same time? Because it's it three is. days yeah, Same back time, same back channel. So we go back to back to back and it is, uh, like I said, free experience and will be available to answer questions at the end as well. So, you know me, Heidi, I, I stay for as long as I need to stay to answer questions and uh, okay. we'll be doing the same during this as well. Great. So I'll email you some questions too. And then guys, just prepare Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just make some time out for yourself. I'm telling you the best, I know our time is our biggest resource. Um, but you're not going to regret it. So thank you, Sue, for being here. We appreciate you. And yeah, we'll see you thank on you, the Heidi. And, and I would say, you know, what we should do is you sh we should have a hashtag for your community. So I'll give everybody a shout out in, in the comments. Like when everyone's there live, we'll use the, the hashtag, the specific uh, for, for your audience. And uh, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll get to, I'll, I'll get you some shout outs. Yes. Hashtag PPHQ. There we hashtag go. PPHQ. So we'll, we'll have them all jumping on there. That'd be awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody sign up um, for the once a year workshop, um, even if you're just curious. So we're excited. And thank you again, Steve. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Heidi.